In this video, we learn about highest common factors. So let's take two numbers. Let's take 12 and 15. Let's find first all the factors of 12. So that would be 1. 2 is also a factor of 12. What about 3? Yes, because 3 times 4 gives us 12. So 4 is also. 5, no, because you can't divide 12 by 5 and have a whole number as the answer. 6, yes, because 6 times 2 gives us 12. 7 is not. 8 is not. 9 is not. 10 is not. 11 is not, but 12 is. Now let's look at factors of 15. 1 is a factor of it because 1 times 15 gives us 15. 2 is not, because you can't divide 15 by 2 and have a whole number as the answer. What about 3? Yes, because 3 times 5 gives us 15. 4 is not, 5 is, 6 is not, 7 is not, 8 is not, 9 is not, 10 is not, 11 is not, 12 is not, 13 is not, 14 is not, but 15 is. Now, which one of these are overlapping? So we can see 1, 2 is not, 3, and the rest of them don't overlap. So the highest common factor is 3. Because we have two common factors, that's 1 and that's 3. 3 is the highest of them two. So 3 is the highest common factor of 12 and 15. What about 36 and 42? Let's start with factors of 36. So there we have 1, 2, 3 as well, because 3 times 12 is going to give us 36. 4, because 4 times 9 gives us 36. 5 is not. 6, yes, because 6 times 6 gives us 36. And then we'd have not 7, not 8, but 9. So notice now, 4 times 9 gives us 36. The next one is going to be 3 times what gives us 36? That is 12. 2 times what gives us 36? That is 18 and 1 times what gives us 36 that's 36 42 so 1 times 42 gives us 42 2 times 21 gives us 42 what about 3 That would be 3 times 14, that gives us 42. What about 4? Four? 4 does not, 5 does not, 6 yes, because 6 times 7 gives us 42. So that's all the factors of 42. Which ones do they have in common? Got the 1 here, 2. 3, 6, and 6 is the highest. So that's the highest common factor between 36 and 42. What about lowest common multiples? It's a very similar process. So let's find the lowest common multiples of 7, and 9. So start with 7. So 7 times 1 gives us 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Then we have 21, 28. Then we have 35, 42, 49 and so on. So we can continue. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the 9 
just in case we find a number that matches any of these ones that we've just written so nine because nine times one is nine and times two is 18 nine times three is 27 nine times four is 36 nine times five So again, we haven't found any number that is the same as the ones we have at the top. So that means we need to continue. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 9 So that's the number that repeats itself. And that is 63. Three. Let's have a look at another example. Let's find the lowest common multiple between 9 and 6. So let's start with a 9, then 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, and so on. Between the multiples of 6 now, so 6, 12, 18, I can see already 18 here, so I don't need to continue any further. So 18 is the lowest common multiple between 9 and 6. You've probably thought this is quite easy and it is when it comes to working with higher numbers not seven and nine or nine and six for example maybe numbers with two digits that's going to be harder to list all of the multiples or all of the factors when it comes to highest common factors so we'll look now at another method which is going to help you when it comes to dealing with higher numbers We've now got 112 and 144. Can 112 be divided by 2? Yes, it can. And we get 56. 56 can be divided by 2. And we get 28. Can it be divided by 2? Yes, it can. We get 2 times 14 and 2 times 7. 7 is the prime number, so we can't go any further. Let's try 144. I start by 2, but you could do by 3, by 5, 7, any prime number. So 2 times 72. And 72 again, I'll go for 2, and that's going to give us 36. And I could do 6 times 6 if I want here. And I can go further, 2 times 3 and 2 times 3. So now we draw the Venn diagram. So this would be for 112 and this is for 144. Let's place all of these prime factors in. So in common, we've got 2 and 2 there. We've got 2 and 2 there. Another 2 and another 2 in common. So... One, two, three, four of them overlap. So I'm going to do two, 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 two. Four of them. Now outside I've got three and three. And I've got here a seven. So the highest common factor, that would be 
the ones in the middle. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is sixteen. So the highest common factor between one hundred and twelve and one hundred and forty four is sixteen. What about the lowest common multiple? That's going to be all that is inside. So two times two times two times two, which we can just put sixteen if we want, times seven, times three times 3, which gives us 1,000 and 